You know that I'm a crazy bitch to do what I want when I feel hey like it. What's up? It's your girl Che, and I am back at it for you. Low power, go away with another video. <laughs> um, today, I'm always looking for like a navy blue look to do. Like when I wear jeans or a navy blue shirt, I'm like, what can I do to match this? I can never get blues to make like a navy blue look. And whenever I YouTube blue eyeshadows, like or blue eyeshadow looks, it's always like some bright blue or bright sparkles, which they're beautiful. But I need something that can go with an everyday navy blue mom shirt you know what i mean so i ended up finding a few navy blues that turned out really well um i am going to discuss the um maybelline lash sensational in the um sky high the brand new mascara that everyone's obsessing over and i also used that eyeliner again and i get in more detail about it it's a black eyeliner that holds your false lashes on like i'm literally pulling my eyes and they're not you know budging they will stay on all night until i peel them off it's all natural and they do not test on animals um but yeah if you guys like this look right here i got to get a i got to get a shot for my intro what do i usually do different poses I don't know we'll have to figure it out later but anyway if you guys would like to see how I got this navy blue eye look with the glitter on the lid um, and I did the whiter highlight with the brow bone and I stuck with a very monotone muted lip because the eyes were already you know the, the star of the show um, so yeah, I actually found a navy eye look that I pulled together and I can actually do it with one palette I chose to use other palettes, but if you have the James Charles palette You can get this look achieved the same exact way So if you guys uh, want to see how to do this, you already know what to do because it's coming up Right now. See you guys in a second All right guys, so for our first step that we're going to be doing for this navy blue look and I don't like with it with the back with the black behind me because I feel like navy blue with black it's just kind of confusing but um I always am wearing navy like I said in my intro or I'll have navy jeans or like a navy blue shirt like this and I never can like match it um with an eyeshadow I, I have a problem I like matching things can you tell but, um, so I picked up my James Charles palette first, and then I actually had a palette which had a shade in there, the exact color of my shirt, and I never knew what to use this for, and it's a shimmer, so it's going to go perfect on the lid. Um, and this is from Wander Beauty, not that expensive, it's their uh, Wondrous Seascape palette, tons of gorgeous shades in that palette. And your transition for like everything I might even use that today before I put the blues down and then in the James Charles palette you already know that uh, sparkly blue that I just showed you I wanted to lay all over my lid was so close to this one right here and this is also a sparkly blue so if you needed like a navy blue shimmer to put on top or really going for like a navy blue crease with like a blue shimmer on the top you can use this one instead if this is the only palette that you have. So right now, I am just going to dig into the first palette from Wander Beauty in the shade, it's called Sand Dollar, right here. So I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush, this is my Morphe M505, and I am just going to start blending that into my crease. So I've got a base, I've got something laid down to work with, and to blend the blues into. And I know the blues can be pretty, pretty difficult to work with. So I wanna make sure I take this transition up pretty high because um, I wanna cut the blue off lower. I do not wanna take the blue up high. Like I have a problem with taking my eyeshadows up high, but in case you haven't noticed, I mean, you could run a freaking marathon between my eyeball and my uh, eyebrow. like. I have so much space in between there. I could probably put an entire palette. Someone could friggin' spray paint a mural on my eye. 
So I'm going to build this up on both eyes and then we'll pick out our first blue for the transition. All right, so I drug you guys in a little bit closer. We have that transition shade placed down on both lids. So now we're getting ready, you know, we're getting ready to get into the blues. Um, so let me find a little bit of a smaller brush. Here we go, this one should work. I'm gonna clean this off. This is just another crease brush from Morphe. It's meant for your crease. Uh, it's the Morphe M433. And that palette that I used for my purple look, for that um, opioid, you know, overdose awareness look, um, I remembered there was this bright blue matte shade in here. So I am going to use a brighter blue first, and then we'll lay down the navy blue. So it's called Scuba Dive, if anybody's wondering. And this is the Violet Voss palette that just came out. Um, and it is in, it's called See You Later, but like S-E-A-U Later, like the Ocean Sea, See You Later. So all the names are like Jellyfish, you know, Wavy Baby. They're just, they're really cute. And it's a very nice palette. But I'm going to take this bold blue. I'm actually a little scared to do this, but I got to man up. I got to do it. Holy cow, look at that. Okay, so I'm probably just gonna tap it at first right on that outer corner and just work on bringing that across my crease. I'm really glad I put that transition color down first because like I said, I can build it up so lightly and then I'll be able to, you know, get the dimension that I want. So I'm going to add probably, mm, probably another layer or two of this to get the desired bright blue color that I'm looking for. And um, the shade behind it, the beige shade is also going to help this bright blue. It's going to like cut down the brightness of like the shockingly blue and kind of help us as we're turning it into that navy navy type of blue so yeah for the third layer i am going to grab my favorite brush that i rave about this was the lux 231 crease brush i'm going to build that blue up try and get it a little bit more of a shockingly blue and then i'll be back Okay, guys, so I blended that blue um, to the level that I wanted. I tried to get it to be a little bit darker, but I think with like that beigey brown tone, like skin tone color that I used as my trans transition, it's not allowing me to get it to like that blue. But that's, that's totally fine with me. I'm happy with this blue. It looks smooth. It's not patchy. I'm totally fine with that. So then I'm going to go into the James Charles palette. And this is where we're gonna use the darkest blue. We have a blue shimmer at the bottom and then like a greenish shimmer right there is the darkest blue shade in his palette. Now remember when I told you James Charles's palette is not an eyeshadow palette, it's a pressed pigment palette. So that's why they are able to show up as intensely as they do. So I am very careful with these when I first start laying them down because even if you get fallout with these, which I already did my foundation and powder, um, and I think I did bronzer. I did a little bit of bronzer, yeah, but I didn't do any highlight or blush because I just wanted to see how this look was going to go. Um, all I'm doing today is I'm just going over to play with Cody and, um, he's got a Taekwondo lesson today where he's supposed to level up to his next belt if he can pass the challenge. So I like, I like how this is coming out. So I'm just going to keep on digging into this dark blue, dark blue, blue. Like when I tell you dark blue, blue, hmm, where can I put this? I'll put it next to this blue, just so you can see the shade difference is a navy. It's like a right, a real navy, true navy blue. So I'm going to build that up on my crease and then um, 
we will be back to lay down the lid sh uh, shade. And I also have that eyeliner to show you, um, which was this one, which all it is is just a black eyeliner and you don't need lash glue or anything. Your lashes just stick to this and it is amazing. So we'll use that today as well. I'm just gonna build up this dark blue shade to the intensity that I want, and then we'll get on with the shimmer blue for the lid. Alrighty, guys. So I got that blue shade up to the intensity that I wanted it to be. I think that it actually looks really even too, that cat eye. I'm telling you, this brush means no more tape. I mean, I don't wanna say that like forever in case I do have to use tape one day and make my ass look stupid, but now I'm going to go into my little baby Wander Beauty um, and I am going to pick the color. It's actually called Coastal. It's this deep blue, but it's shimmery. So actually, let me take this. Whoa, I'm a mess over here. This spray, it's from Maybelline. It's called that glass spray. It's supposed to give your uh, skin that appearance of glass like Victoria's Secret model runway, <laughs> you know? Only, it just doesn't. It makes your face look wet. <laughs> but I'm gonna take this and spray it. And I wanted to do that. So that way, where's my little thing? And this is, I guess this is what, I have a piece of plastic to dry. <laughs> this is what Victoria's Secret models do. They pick up trash and they dry their face with it. But, um, yeah. So I'm just waving this all over my face because I already powdered it, so I'm fine to spray. And um, I just wanted to do that so when I go in with this coastal shade, it'll actually have like some tackiness um, on the lid. And that didn't change the lid color at all. So looks like we're, we're doing good so far. So I always like to use my ring finger, so I'm just gonna swirl swirl girl swirl that's like my motto swirl girl swirl i friggin always say it there's one of my weird blows again and then that's what it looks like and shimmery it's so 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 freaking pretty so i am going to put my first layer of it i am tapping though so lightly because if this falls down on my face like People are just gonna look at me and instantly, I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da. If I was green, I would die, da ba dee. What is it, by the way? Do they just go, I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da, da ba dee? Or do they go, I'm blue, if I was green, I would die. If I was green, I would die. That totally had nothing to do with this video. But I've been curious of that since like high school, <sighs> maybe even middle school. It's been in my brain and I've been acting like I'll just sing one version of it because I mean, one of them has to be right. Always acting like I know it, you know, and um, really inside my head for like, you know, 15 years ago, I'm wondering if I'm actually singing the right lyric. Ah, no. Oh, OK. That came off pretty easily. I'm just going to take my concealer brush where are you jeffrey i just had my jeffrey star concealer brush out but i probably put it in my makeup bag for my purse so i love that i love that blue shimmer so i am going to probably build it up to the intensity that i want and i am going to place eyeliner on the inner parts of my uh waterline and the upper and then we'll be back to use this uh, Maybelline Sky High. Oh my gosh, look at this. The Sky High um, mascara that everybody has been raving about. So I'm going to put this green on both eyes and I'll BRB. Okay, guys. So I got both eyes even. I put um, eyeliner underneath of both. And then I looked back into my Violet Voss palette and I looked at the shimmery blue right here and I'm like, I wonder if that would like do anything on the top of this dark, dark, like literally navy. It matches my navy blue shirt. And then I put it just on this eye and you can tell I used this finger, but I mean, it still stayed navy, but we have hints of like a blue shimmer on top. I think it looks beautiful. You can leave it totally matte or add the shimmer. 
um, I'm just going to add this shimmer to this side and then I'll be back to show you how good this uh, Sky High mascara is and how awesome this liquid eyeliner is that literally locks on your, uh, your falsies. Okay guys, before I get to uh, doing the mascara, I did wanna jump in and let you know that I am putting my brow bone highlight on right now and I'm going to use this same shade as highlighter on my face. I just didn't wanna jump back, have all this highlighter on and my brow bones done and you guys not know what product I used. So I actually opened up my James Charles palette and the second shade at the top, it's white as you can tell with a shimmer. So I'm gonna use that up there. I'm gonna use it as highlight on my face, um, pop it in my inner corner. And then uh, after that, I'll be back to show you the mascara and the lashes and the look will be complete pretty much. All right guys, so the difference with one lash, I used the uh, Sky High, yeah, Maybelline Sky High um, mascara and I put it on this side. So that side compared to that side, it almost looks like I have falsies on. It, it really lengthens them a lot. If this had a little bit more boldness, like a little bit more thickness to the eye, it would probably be my favorite mascara. But I just wanted to show you that. So I'm gonna mimic this on the other eye, and then when we come back, I'm gonna show you this amazing lip liner. The lip liner? Not a lip liner. Don't wanna put this on your lips. Um, eyeliner that holds your lashes down all day and all night okay guys so both eyes are even steven and i am so happy that i did this in time this look really was not hard to do i did like two or three blues in the backdrop and then if you have a deep sparkly blue or like a um sequined blue even a matte blue you saw the matte blue before i put the blue sparkle on top um you know, I've always like worn jeans with a white shirt. I'm like, oh, I wish I could get like a denim look, you know, or something to do with my eyes. Um, I am gonna take my little tiny smudger brush if I can find it right here. Here's my culprit. And I need to find my little brush cleaner. Um, I am going to do my lower lash lines as well with some blue, but since I can't find the cleaner right now, I will just go straight to the eyeliner now this eyeliner i ordered it in the shade black it you it it doesn't matter what color you get on the front they send out gold silver rose gold i got a rose gold one doesn't matter but where the button is that's how you know to put the cap back on that's the top so it's i ordered it in black just looks like that and it is a black liquid liner that you do nothing with your lashes where did i just put those lashes Oh, there they are. Okay. You do nothing with your lashes at all. So I am going to apply this glue and you will see me pop a lash on without doing anything. Well, without, not without doing anything, without using any, any lash glue. And I'm putting on this, um, you know, this eyeliner like I would any typical eyeliner. I always go thicker towards the outside, obviously. I mean, the further you go out, the thicker you want the line to be. And then um, as I bring it on my way back in, whoa, it's already starting to dry, that's nuts. You can feel it start to get um, a little bit tacky again. So I am going to close this. And where did I put all of them? Right here. So just so you know, it's a fresh boy. It's a fresh boy with no glue on it. Peeled it right off of here. And you don't want this to sit for too long. I'm telling you, it dries and it dries quickly. So you wanna find where you wanna lay that, that lash down. I usually go in the middle somewhere and I pick a spot and I push it down right on that glue, just like that. And as you can tell, it's already starting to hold onto that, uh, onto the liner and then on the inside I just push it down very very lightly and it goes right onto it and then you can do whatever you do with your lash a lot of people like to pinch the lashes together um, 
just to make them look like they're more together. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Um, and then once, you know, this dries down a little bit more, I will go over the band um, with a little bit more of that liner, but it's already on there. The, the, you can pull, like the, the lash is already on. It's already done. The work's already done. So I got to find out where I got this from because I looked all over it. There is not a single name on this anywhere. Plain tube. I got to find out where I got this. I'm going to Google this and in my description box, I will link it for you because this is amazing. It saves so much time. I'm not sitting here waiting for my lash glue to, glue to dry, then throw on the lash. You know what I mean? Like I can just pop on the eyeliner and go. It's awesome. So I'm going to do it to this side and then we'll be back. Okay guys, I did the highlight all over my face. I lined the bottom lash line with blue liner. The, uh, I lined my lips as well. The only thing that I had to do was pick a nude lip gloss. And I'm gonna go in once again with my Wet n Wild from Catsuit, the Caught You Bare Naked shade. Because uh, I don't wanna, you know, have a red lip with this look or something else. I usually do a pretty dramatic eye, so I don't need a dramatic lip as well. Uh, so that's why I do that. And partly I don't like myself like in anything but a nude lip. I feel comfortable with a nude lip on. I put a little pink uh, uh, blush further back and then the highlight is the same one that I used up here. And then for our little inner corner pop of that blue color, I went in with the blue that I showed you earlier, this one right here, and I mixed it up here with the shade Aquamarine. And I put a dab of that on top so you can really, really see that inner corner pop. And up close, as for the lashes, I put a layer of mascara on them right now i just did i never pinched this eye i just realized that i could tell i didn't pinch it because it wasn't squeezed together there we go and these lashes are i mean if you uh you know want this liner i am going to find it i am going to google it find it and link it below in my description box but um thank you guys so much for watching i'm glad i got back at it with a regular makeup tutorial um, I can actually, you know, at least push you guys out a little bit, hopefully. Yep, that's what I was just going to say. Hopefully it doesn't fall because it always does. And guess what just happened? It fell. <laughs> but anyway, this is the final look. This is literally like, this is a mom shirt. Like, it's like a three-quarter length, um, just plain blue, navy blue shirt. But I'm going to a Taekwondo lesson. And if I don't get my ass out the door, he's going to literally... <laughs> taekwondo me in the butt so i gotta run thank you guys so much for watching this i appreciate it um and i'll see you in the next video bye guys and thank you for watching you know that i'm a crazy bitch to do what i want what i feel like